I have to do a little um, public service announcement about me and all this hair that I'm about to show. I kind of overdid it just a little bit. Um, normally I show about anywhere from 8 to 10 and I decided to do 14. I have all this gorgeous hair. I have all this hair that I want to show. I have yet to figure out how to moderate um, the stuff I want to show. I'll work on it. I will. I will. The thing is, is that I had like all these beautiful pieces and I want to try to keep them together per brand. And um, yeah, I would have had like this would have been like a 12, 13 part series if I did that. And I have other things that I want to do too. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to work on getting through these gorgeous, beautiful, amazing wigs. I mean, I'm just like really excited. Uh, this is awesome. So just to let you guys know, I got 14 to show. And we're going to be talking about Ellen Villa. I think I have a Nor Noriko. Hey, Kathleen. Um, I have a Noriko. I have um, a bunch of Aesthetica, some Envy. And next week is going to be um, Beltrus, I believe, Gabor, and a couple of others. So I'm pretty excited. And it's going on 7 o'clock, so I really want to get going. And... Um, Oh, this is so neat. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on. Um, I'm really excited. You guys know I am part of myhairmail.com and myhairmail.com, you can definitely go register on the website and you can be signed up for free wig giveaways, members only discounts, and they're just pretty awesome. But let's go ahead and get started because seven o'clock. Hey. All right. On my head right now is Arrow, which is my number one go-to long hair piece. I love messy waves. I, oh, color, copper brown mix, copper brown mix. And this color is beautiful, but she's my number one go-to. I love messy waves. I love, I love just, I always think, that the more less perfect a wig is, the more natural it looks. And Ellen Villa does all of that so beautifully. So this right here, Arrow in Copper Brown Mix, is a full synthetic. And if you see this gorgeous color, it is a beautiful, gorgeous red with some nice dark low lights, as well as highlights all interspersed. And it is just such a beautiful, gorgeous, vibrant color. I mean, she's just awesome. Yes, she is awesome. Oh, hey, Angela, hey. So you have all these gorgeous, beachy, wavy layers and these awesome side sweat bangs. Now, she does have a really nice, yes, Arrow is fabulous. Um, she has a really nice lace front. Now, when I say that, there, that Arrow is my go-to, not only is she my go-to, but I have her in three different colors. I'm not gonna show you all the colors because I have all of these to go through but I have her on all these different colors so I can wear with whatever I want. Um, I've got a gorgeous brunette, which is espresso rooted. I have um, mocha rooted and I have this one and they are just all phenomenal. So let me just take it off. I'll let you see the cap. Now, Ellen Villa, her caps tend to fit petite average uh, heads absolutely beautiful. Okay, so you see you have a gorgeous ear tab to ear tab, lace front, left mono, 
and it's very deep. It goes all the way back to the crown. I mean, yes. Ugh. And the nice velvety ear tabs as well as some gorgeous Velcro. And it makes me happy. I love Velcro. Anything about comfort with these pieces makes me happy. So this is Arrow in Copper Brown Mix. Absolutely fabulous. Fabulous! <laughs> Alright, so our next one is going to be Carrie by Ellen Villa. And I should mention that um, the Perucci collection is... Um, well, Arrow is part of the Perucci collection, as is Carrie. Now, these styles are definitely more of the modern bent. Um, and what I mean by that, they're sometimes they're a little bit edgier. You're going to look at some, the, the ends will be um, a little bit more modern. And the styling. And they are just all beautiful. Okay? So this is Carrie by Ellen Villa. And this particular color is Auburn Mix. And you can see, look, 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 uh, red, red, mm. oh, I love her, love her, and she is just gorgeous. Now, I chose all these pieces because, number one, they're long, and number two, um, they usually have, like, some heft to them because of the length, and so when I talk about date night hair... Um, pieces that are greater than five normally, uh, like right around five, like four and a half to and greater, usually have a lot of heft. And if you're weight sensitive, these are going to be pieces that you might want to keep on for like a half a day if that's your, if you're weight sensitive. I know that I am. Now, I'm very lucky that Arrow only weighs 4.75 ounces, and I forgot the dimensions. Oh, Arrow's dimensions. The front, are four, four, the front is 14, the crown is 14, the sides are 13. From the nape is 13, 4.75 ounces. There. <laughs> All right. So this is Carrie by Ellen Villa. And she too is a full synthetic with a really nice basic cap with a mono crown. <laughs> ah! Just a little mini mono crown. And it's hand knotted. And she's open. Gorgeous. I love these. Just the velvet ear tabs. Um, the open ear tabs are okay. But I just love the comfort of the velvet ear tabs, as well as the Velcro and the uh, nice substantial nape. And she does have bangs. Okay. Very, sh she's a nice straight piece. Mm. Ooh. I get, let me fix this. I gotta, I gotta fix this. Give me a second. <laughs> oh goodness all right so Carrie is just beautiful and these can be side swept they could be down you could trim them up and you won't change the overall style of the piece okay there you go a little bit better Carrie is just so beautiful. And look how sense, I mean, she's just so, yeah, she's sexy. I love it. Ah, she is sexy. She's so feminine. Just soft, beautiful. This is um, a full synthetic. So no heavy heat. Okay. No heavy heat. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. That's so sweet. Um, I really do love this piece. Now, let's take a look 
at Carrie from the back. Let me get this right here. Because every time I put this on, I always have to do this one part. All these pieces I, have, I wear regularly, okay? So I just want you to know I do wear all of these. Every single one. So if I need to comb them out a little bit, that's why. Alright, so here we go. Carrie in from the back. And she's got such really pretty movement. And she is just really lovely. I do enjoy her. Now, normally when I wear Carrie, like I said, I keep the bangs up off my face. And I, I'm not a huge... Here we go. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not a huge bangs kind of girl. I have, um, I, I, I just don't like a whole lot of stuff like coming down into my eyes. So I do like, as far as the Renee Paris heat tool for synthetics, n um, no. I don't have it. I have, um, in all honesty, a generic. And it works just great. It truly does. So, um, yeah, the bangs issue that I have, I don't like having things on my forehead or in, like that can get down in between my glasses and my, my eyes. But, yeah. So, the other thing about, um, I, okay. I'm trying to keep up with chats. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm horrible at it, and I apologize because I want to talk. Um, as far as the, the, the comfort level of Ellen Villa, Ellen Villa is, again, perfect for the petite average head. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel and my streams, um, I have hearing aids. Um, and the thing that I love about Ellen Villa and all their caps, let me show, right here, they sit perfectly. Now, in some caps that are on the larger side, the hearing aids will travel up into the cap and can be uncomfortable, especially with um, glasses. And then on top of that, I'm a nurse. Yep. And I wear all the protective equipment. Masks. I wear a face shield. Sometimes goggles. And then, of course, we have to wear that big old gown. It's everywhere. And it's super great. And it's protective. Mm. Anyway, so the thing is, is that the... The, the cap for Ellen Villa has a lot of um, room for behind my ears. And it's just a great cap for me specifically. Um, and if you have a petite average head, I have a 20.75 circumference. So that actually can be a factor when choosing certain caps and wigs. Okay. But again, this is Carrie. Absolutely. And I love it. Now, again, what's really awesome is that this particular piece has bangs. What do you need a lace front for? I don't think she needs one. It's working. It's great. Let's not fix it. I love Carrie. Woo. All right. So, <laughs> uh, this is Carrie by Ellen Villa. In again, Auburn Mix. Okay. So the next one we're going to be looking at is Taboo. Now, I just recently got Taboo. I've been wearing the stuffing out of her. She is awesome. And I do wear her to work. Now, Taboo weighs 4.4 ounces for all this hair. And I do wear her, well, I am a nurse, 
So I do wear her up, um, pulled back a little bit. And I, I like to wear, um, Angela calls it hair candy. Love it. And so I'm constantly putting cutesy wootsy clips and stuff in my hair and headbands and, and things like that. So strike that. Not often on the headbands. Uh, the, the weight and the pressure, not, no, okay. So anyway, this is Taboo. She is heat friendly. And so you could go ahead and straighten her. Why? I don't know. These curls are phenomenal. Look at those awesome waves. Oh, yes. Anybody, and I mean anybody, if you can send me a video or show me how to replicate these waves, I will be eternally grateful. So I would never, me personally, I would never hit these with heat. That's just me. Because once you straighten it, it's really hard to put them back in. I tell you. So, dimensions on Taboo. The front is 7, the crown is 11, the sides are 11, the nape is 10, and like I said, 4.4 ounces. She's awesome! So, this is Taboo. Now, she's got this little mini mono right here. A little, not mono, mini lace front, I apologize. And a tiny little mono crown. Yep. Velvety ear tabs. Now, this one particularly has quite a bit of hair sewn into that ear tab, so you get some really awesome coverage right there, and it's pretty great. And, of course, Velcro on a very substantial date. All right. Taboo from the Perucci Collection. hear me gushing about Ellen Villa a lot. I'm sorry. Ugh. Because she's awesome. And messy. And sexy. Oh, just so Pretty, and she just makes you feel good. Well, she makes me feel good. I hope she'd make you feel good too, because this is awesome. This is Taboo, and this particular color is Espresso Tipped. So you have a gorgeous dark brown tipped with a lighter brown. And if you'd like to take a look. And that little mini lace front, isn't it cute? It's cute. She's fun. I love the beachy waves. You got some gorgeous layers in here with the side swept bangs here. <sighs> Too cute. So this is just absolutely gorgeous. And again, I have plenty of room. In this for my hearing aids, my glasses, and whatever else I have to throw behind my ears. But it all fits. Comfortably. Makes me happy. Um, do you have to treat the ends to maintain the fiber? If I do, I use steam. I don't use um, heating tools. Like, I'll use steam and a... Um, in a, in a really soft, uh, not soft, just a regular little brush. And I do them in chunks. I don't do them in like big mass quantities because you end up ruining the curl pattern. So yes, you are absolutely right. You do have to use heat every once in a while. But I use steam. And it helps to maintain this. So I'm a big, big fan. And this is taboo. Messy sexiness. Perfect for date night. She is awesome. Mm. 
too cool. And she looks really great with um, hair accessories. She is so much fun. She really is. Okay. So, Code Mono by Ellen Villa is our next one. And she is the first straight piece that I have ever owned that I could wear with my hearing aids. Now, what I mean by that, <clears throat> funny story. I'm at work. I'm going to put this on and then I'll, we'll talk about code model, but I'm going to explain this. When you don't have a cap that fits and your hearing aids are traveling out into the cap throughout the day, your hearing aids like to travel and you end up looking like you have an antenna. And nobody's going to tell you because they're too embarrassed to. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. So, here he is. Let me put him back in. <laughs> Sorry. So, for me, having a comfortable cap that can accommodate everything is very, very important for wigs that I wear throughout the day. All right, Code Mono by Ellen Villa, full synthetic, hand tied lace front. Oh, and she is perfect. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm. She is so much fun. Mm. And she is just a natural looking piece. Kathleen, yes, you're right, absolutely. She is just so much fun, so very pretty. Hey, Teresa. Um, this right here is just so beautiful. She's straight, layered, with jagged ed edges and ends. So like everything is just jagged. It's, you see all these really pretty pieces here? And she's got that flat iron look, I think, you know? So she's just really, she's just a really natural looking piece. If you consider flat iron natural. Hmm. Anyway, so let's take a look at that front. And this particular color is dark chocolate mix which is a just a gorgeous rich brown and this is a I don't know she's definitely a warm brown because you can definitely see some like beautiful russet colors in there very pretty very pretty and code mono dimensions the front five inches from the crown it's 10.5 the sides are 11.5 the nape is 11.5 and she only weighs four ounces. She is like the perfect weight for work. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, fun, soft, very feminine, and again, perfect date night hair. She is awesome. Very, I love her. And then on top of that, the comfort level is like off the charts for, um, I, like I said, I have a petite head. Would it fit a average? Absolutely. Cause look at that stretch. Yep. Pretty awesome. And she's so much fun. Cause I wear her up in a, I, um, blah, 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 blah. I like to wear her up in a high pony and the way that I do that is I'll oh, need my brush but I pull everything up high as far as and I bring all this down I do all my adjustments after the fact 
but pull her up high and then just bring these pieces down at the very bottom. I make it look a lot better, I promise, if I have a mirror. You, I, I promise you I do. It, it does look better. <laughs> but you just bring these pieces down to hide that nape. And that way you can have, you can still have your high pony. So, and she's great. So this is Code Mono by Ellen Villa. With, like I said, she is a full synthetic with the hand tied lace front. Left Mono, velvety ear tabs, Velcro nape. Too much fun. Ah! All right. So the next one is a, is heat friendly, and this is Diva by Ellen Villa, and like I said, heat friendly, and she is very very pretty, and um, I really do like her a lot. Oh. Have you guys checked out the wig genie yet on my hair middle? Anybody? I've been playing with it. You ask it questions and it answers them. It's like the newest AI technology and my hair mill is like the first one to have it. Anybody try it out yet? It is so neat. And you can like, it'll bring up stuff that you normally wouldn't look at. It's pretty cool. So this right here is Diva by Ellen Villa. And this particular color is Plum Brown Rooted. And look at all these pretty curls, just soft, very feminine, pretty, and this color. Now, what's really awesome is every once in a while, you're going to see strands of this really rich plum color running through it. I thought it was neat. Well, I did. But Diva is just such a, I got Diva on clearance. Yeah, um, if you go to the clearance, um, the clearance wigs, go on the, the My Hair Mail website and you can check out the auction site. It's called clearancewigs.com and it is just awesome. I mean, it's seriously awesome. You click on, you just, it's basically like the clearance section, but better. You click on it, you're gonna see a price there. That's not the price that you have to bid. Ha! <laughs> Save more. All right, so Diva has center model part, neat. Very neat. I always, that's a shame. I honestly didn't notice that. I thought it was temple to temple. That goes ear tab to ear tab, babies. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. And I've only been wearing her for like five months. Mm. Yeah. All right, so this right here, velvety ear tabs, Velcro, adjusters, on a nice substantial nape once again. All right, here we go. Diva. And she is just soft, feminine gorgeousness. Mm. Oh, man, I tell you. You ever have just that wig that really makes you happy? This is one of mine. Makes you want to do a happy dance. It really does. I'm kind of digging it. Very cool. So she has these soft curled layers. As far as permatease, none. None. I feel nada. Zip zilch. Nothing. Nope. Nope. 
so beautiful. And because um, she is heat friendly, you could straighten her. You could put the curl back down in the ends. You could do basically anything that you want to this pretty lady and have fun. The versatility is off the charts. Greatness. I mean, she is awesome. And this is from the uh, Changes Collection. And she, like I said, she's just very feminine, very soft, and she is quite timeless. I mean, she's just very pretty. Just very pretty, very feminine, very sensual. Can you use that about a wig? Yeah, let's do that. She is just so pretty. And she does, she's just gorgeous. I want to use her in a photo shoot that I want to do with my daughter. She's pretty great. Alright. Oh, the earrings. The earrings were um, a Christmas gift for my kids as well as the necklace. I, my son got me um, the earrings and my daughter got me the necklace. We have a thing for Downton Abbey. So it's from the Downton Abbey collection. I thought it was cool. So, all right. Now, this one, we're, we're, we're going to talk about this one because I'm still intimidated by it. But it is so beautiful. Um, and the only reason I'm intimidated by this wig is the length. And it's a synthetic. But she is heat friendly. And this is Look by Ellen Villa. And she has all the hair. Now, I'm going to treat her, yes, the length is phenomenal. Um, now the thing about this particular piece, she is absolutely beautiful. Like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ugh. But you have to keep a comb on hand. I mean, the, the tangling, when you have length like this, and especially when you have um, the jagged ends here, um, you are going to have to keep a comb on hand. It, it just is what it is. Now, I want to do a... You can tell I'm about, you can tell I'm a nurse because you want to talk about um, beautiful, but what about statics? Yes, and it does get staticky. But if you want to do um, just some wig spray, it makes that pretty much go away. Um, I use uh, the Jean Renault uh, HD Smooth. And uh, it calms that down a lot as far as static. But yes, she is beautiful. But there's a, a procedure that you can do. And um, Zuzu, who is on um, online on YouTube as well, and she has this really great technique for thinning out hair that um, helps to calm down the, the tangling, number one, it makes it a lot easier to comb out tangles after they actually do happen. So I want to do that. So I'm really excited. Now, I'm very excited about this one. Angela, you're absolutely right. Long braids are going to be absolutely phenomenal. So let's take a look. And again, she is heat friendly, so you can put some curl into her. Yes, I have not, as you can see. So, she has got this little mini lace front, super cute, with a little mono crown, and she is from the High Power Collection. And the nape on this little lady is quite thin. So the front of this is 7.5 from the crown. It's 21 inches from the sides are 20. The nape is 19.5 and she weighs 6.4 ounces. Right out of the box. 
Yes, she's heavy. Mm -hmm. But I can handle that for a little while, I promise. But my gosh, all the hair, these beautiful side sweat bangs. And so she has that little mini lace front right here. And you genuinely could part her anywhere that you want. And because she is heat friendly, you can make this work however you want. She may have that little mini that mini lace front, but no, you can put this wherever you want. Just add a little bit of heat, and bam. And she is just so beautiful. But I'm gonna put it right back in the middle so I can see. Because I have not played with heat. I haven't done anything with her. I wanna try to figure out what I wanna do with her. And if I do anything with her, I wanna do it on live. So I think that'd be fun. So, uh, but yes. She comes down to my lower back here, like all this length. And this particular color is chocolate rooted, which is a very light brown. Rooted with a nice warm medium brown. And she is just so beautiful. Again, just keep your um, comb at the ready. You can go ahead and um, braid her up. She would look so pretty braided. I, like I said, I'm, until I figure out what I want to do with her and how I want to play with her, I want to, um, yeah, just keep wearing her. Uh, well, I will be wearing her straight. But as far as doing something to her, that's the intimidating part. I'm like nervous because I don't want to ruin her. You know what I mean? She is so beautiful. And she is the longest wig that I own. Golly. Just beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it for my Ellen Villa. Now I have one long Noriko, and I want to throw her in here because she's a lot of fun. And she is super pretty. Now this right here is Angelica by Noriko. And I have her in the color Chestnut, which is a decided red. Beautiful, gorgeous, rich red. And look at all these beautiful, soft waves. Mm -mm -mm. She is hot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no lace here. No lace front, no mono. Because she's got some gorgeous bangs and wait till you see them. Yep, yep significant amount of hair sewn into this ear tab that's covered in um, the same lace as the cap, okay? And she does have the bra strap adjusters and a pretty significant nape that's covered in that lace as well, okay? So this little lady here, I wore my, my kids and I, we like to do um, photo shoots, you know, just memory making, and we do themes. So I wore this one um, during a photo shoot, and we were fairies in the park, and that was so much fun. You can find that on, you'll see the pictures on my YouTube. They were just, it was so much fun. 
My daughter, oh, she looks so cute. She wore a white wig. It was neat. Mm. But she is beautiful. Volume, volume and permities, yes. But golly, so you got the sides. She is just beautiful. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Very feminine, tousled. She lays beautiful, gorgeous movement. Oh, she just makes me happy. Just beautiful. She is so much fun! So, when you um, wear this little lady, again, you don't have um, a, a lace front. So, to keep that wiggy feel away, if you know what I mean, I just bring the bangs down just a little bit, and then you can style them away. Now, she is a full synthetic. So, for me, when I want to style my synthetics and I want to keep them away from my face, I use hot hands. And what that is, is I run my hands under the hottest water that I can tolerate for about a minute or so. And then I will either twist away and I'll just hold on to it with my hands. So it's not heavy heat, but it's enough to change that pattern, okay? And um, I do the same thing, like if I want permatease to calm down, I'll just heat my hands up, dry them off quickly, and then plaster them, and then walk around for about a minute or so while my hands cool off. And it just calms down that permatease at the base and reforms it so it's a little bit more of a sleek profile. So that's what I do. So, all right, so, Again, Angelica, full synthetic. She's got these long textured layers. Just absolutely beautiful. Now, what's awesome about Angelica is she comes in a partial mono or a large cap. I did say that. Large cap. I hear this a lot. I can't find large caps in these beautiful wigs. Yes, this is available in a large cap. She is awesome. Just beautiful. Now the front of Angelica is 7.9 from the crown at 16. From the nape it's 15.7. And the weight is 6.67 ounces. So she is a little on the heavier side. I wore her for like six hours straight. That was pretty much it for me. Um, you wanna buy this wig? Go to myhairmail.com, go register. And you can start saving some bucks. Oh, she's so pretty. Yes. Yes. She makes me happy. Now, we're going to start moving into the Aestheticas. Now, what I love about Aesthetica is the styling. The styling is just absolutely amazing. They are pretty much all the, the modern styling, the... The, the edginess, the, the newness of it is just astronomical and absolutely beautiful. And I love that. Mm. Now, we're going to talk about Seven. Now, Seven is very new. And she is heat friendly. Okay. I had so many. They're literally all over the, the room. I'm working on it. And this particular color is 4-8, no, 4-6, I apologize. 4-6, which is a decided nice cool brown. And she's very pretty. Take a look at those gorgeous curls. Just soft, beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. Stacy, you need that in your life. Angelica, you need an Angelica in your life. So, 
This is seven. And she has a temple temple lace front with a left mono. Open ear tabs. Okay. And a significant amount of hair sewn into it for that gorgeous coverage. Gorgeous coverage. And an open nape, but you have the Velcro adjusters. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Super great. And she is so pretty. Oh, makes me happy. So, Seven is part of the Heat Defiant collection that Aesthetica just put out. And so she is heat friendly. Absolutely beautiful. And the bangs are nine inches. The sides, 9.5. From the crown, it's 13.25. The nape, 11.75, and she weighs five ounces. But just gorgeous, romantic, feminine, loose curls. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Just Yes. Makes you just want to snap. Mm. Yes and yes. She is so beautiful. And the knotting is actually really, really well done in this really dark color. Greatness. Oh. This, yes. Oh, she's so awesome. Now, she is like right at my limit for work. Have I worn her seven to work? No. Um, I've been having a, a, a few days that uh, would have been a little suspect. Uh, I, I don't like having to switch out wigs and I don't want to have to switch this one out, so. Uh, but yes, I do love her. And this is Seven by Aesthetica. And she is so great. And she has this beautiful, like that mono, that, um, that left mono just allows this front to either be pulled up, and you can, and it can lay gently across the brow, giving you a very romantic, soft feel. And she is just so pretty. Just so pretty. Mm. I do. Very sweet. These soft, gorgeous curls. Like I said, just very romantic. Just want you want to giggle. Now, the thing that I have a problem with with seven. Those open ear tabs and aesthetic caps on me sit very low. So I have to tuck these um, up into the cap. As you can see, as I was trying to take it off, it literally pulled this out because it automatically starts crawling up into the cap. So, oops, you didn't see that. You didn't see that at all. So they, um, they automatically start crawling up into the cap. So I have to have volume. I have to have volume um, to help cover that when they actually do start going out into the cap and they like to poke out. So I like curly wigs for Aesthetica for the most part. Um, I like um, permatease, like especially right here around the sides. That's my thing. But yes, this is seven, and she is heavenly. Mm. So beautiful. Okay, so Mackenzie by Aesthetica, and she's next. And I have her in the color R32F, which is a nice, rich auburn brown, as you can see. And look at the layers. Beautiful. And she has a 
hand tied lace front. And this is Mackenzie. And that lace front, you see how deep that is? That's almost two inches of lace front. So you can still part all over there. Just, that's pretty great. And again, with the open ear tabs, open nape with the hook adjusters. All right. So Mackenzie is a full synthetic. And I'm going to give her a quick comb through for a second. And her bangs are nine inches from the crown. It's 11. Whoosh. From the sides, 9.75 from the nape 13. And she only weighs 4.73 ounces. She feels very light on your head. And, uh, here we go. Again, like the aesthetic caps that I was telling you about, it does sit low, so my hearing aids are already traveling. But, there is permatees here. Not a lot, but there is some, and it's enough to hide my hearing aids if they decide to poke through the caps. Because I will wear them up into the cap, okay? So that my hearing aids and my, um, my glasses and all the other stuff will fit. But she is very pretty. And this is Mackenzie with these gorgeous, beautiful layers. And as you can see, layered and she's falling to like mid back very very soft and she's got this gorgeous flip that she comes with I have not hit this with heat at all number one because she's a full synthetic and number two this is how she comes she's great she is and you'll feel that permatease and it travels all the way down to here and she is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And again, like I said, this color is R32F. So let's take a look at that knotting. Not bad aesthetica. Mm. I like it. And she's fun. So much fun. And she can be worn up half up half down very easy styling with this little lady okay very easy and i love this color just look how rich that beautiful red brown is and you can see the highlights and the low lights in it mm. lovely lovely So the next one I have is Verona. Verona by Aesthetica is a fun beachy style and she is a full synthetic. And I have her in the color R, um, R826H, which is a very light brown with some really pretty blonde highlights. Sin. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. So, Verona by Aesthetica, full synthetic, and she does fall way below the shoulder. And she's from the High Society Collection by Aesthetica. And she is so cute. And again, you guys know I love my beach waves. I love messy. I love carefree. I do. I, I truly do. Um, I don't like to rake my combs through the um, the curls too much, and then after I do, I immediately put them back to rights. A little bit of water, and just see how it pieces up these gorgeous curls. Just makes it really, really pretty. 
Just a little bit of water. Hercules makes me happy. All right. So Verona is a monotop. And you take a look. You see a temple, temple, lace front, full mono. Part her anywhere. All the styling, all you want. And she's fun. Makes me, again, happy. Yes, hair makes me happy. It really does. All right. Her ear tabs are covered in a nylon material. And she has the hook adjusters in the back with an open knee. Okay. Now, Verona, from her bangs, are 8 inches. The size are 16. From the crown, it's 20. The nape is 14, and she weighs 5.29 ounces. Um, I tried to wear her all throughout the day. Um, I have a thing for drag racing. I wore her to the drag races, and um, yeah, I ended up switching her out for a, I always carry an extra wig in my car, no joke. Um, and I ended up switching her out for a pixie. <laughs> but that's just because I'm weight sensitive as far as my head. But, oh, but look. Just how beautiful is that? She's just very carefree. She is very sensitive, uh, not sensitive, sensual. She's very, just a sexy, sexy wig. And look at the lace front. That is just really, really well done, y'all. Go aesthetica. <clears throat> So you have these gorgeous layers, awesome beach wavy curls, perfect movement. Mm. Yes. And this particular color, like I said, it's a, you could call it a really dark blonde, but it honestly in the sunlight, it has this, um, has more of a brown cast with really bright blonde highlights. And she is just very pretty. Absolutely gorgeousness. And Verona, she is really easy to style because um, like when I'm wearing wigs and stuff like that, I like to keep them like, again, if I'm doing stuff like I'll wear this during, you know, doing yard work. I, I, I do. Mm. Maybe I need to stop that. No. No, I won't. No. <laughs> All right. So this right here, again, is Verona by Aesthetica. Full synthetic and fabulous. Mm. All right. Hey, did you guys check out the My Hair Mail Facebook support group on Facebook? Anybody? So my hair mail Facebook support group has got so many awesome women in it. And we have a couple of dudes too. Pretty awesome. And like I said, it's a um, it's just fun. And we have some amazing people there that can um, answer pretty much any question that you want. And then if you want to help people that have the questions, please answer them. But please join. We would love to see you. And because I'm getting ready to break out Maya. Mm -hmm. Now, Maya is by Envy. I like Maya. I like Maya a lot. Maya is a full synthetic. I happen to like full synthetics a lot. Oh. 
And especially this one because she's a full mono. With a really well done lace front. And look how deep it is. That's actually really, really well done. And you've got some really nice soft velvety ear tabs and some bra strap adjusters on a thin nape. And she's open wefted, as you can see. Hey, Venezuela. All right. And the thing is, is that this says this is espresso. I don't know of any espresso this light. I don't. My espresso usually makes your teeth turn like yellow. It's this right here is just a beautiful, cool brown. But it says it's espresso. I'm going to work with it. But it's very pretty. And I know that if you take a look at the inside, at the root, it definitely is darker. Okay. All right. Here we go. Maya. Ugh. By Envy. And she is awesome. Look at this beautiful curl pattern, y'all. Mm. And I have her parted over on the right just because I want to. Now, the reason why I want to is because wig manufacturers think that everybody wants to be parted on the left. Not all the time. I, I want to be able to do all of the things. Gotta love monos. I love full mono tops. But yes. And so this is just a neat piece. So Maya, again, full synthetic, and she is long and stunning. And this particular piece is a huge head turner. When you're walking down the street, people notice. They really do. They, they're like, ha ha! I love your hair. And I'm like, yes, I put it on this morning. I did. But yes, this is Maya, and she's got this beautiful S pattern, just absolutely gorgeous, cascading all the way down, and she is so beautiful. She has this um, 1930s bombshell kind of look about her um, and feel. She, do you guys know who Veronica Lake is? Am I the only one that watches Turner Classic movies? Um, anyway, so Veronica Lake used to wear her hair very similarly with a, this big shank of hair that would, you know, come straight down. And it was just very pretty and very soft and very avant-garde for that time. And she was absolutely beautiful. Yes, she would always cover one of her eyes. You can actually do the same thing with this one. And I wouldn't, not me personally, but you could. But this has a very similar wave pattern to that particular actress. And if you look her up, Veronica Lake, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just saying. So from the front, 13.25. From the crown, 15. From the sides, 14.75. From the nape, 13.75. And she weighs 5.12 ounces. Yes. I absolutely do have short wigs. I have a lot of them. Except I'm focusing on the long pieces tonight. This is date night hair. But we'll definitely get to some short pieces probably in the next few lives. Yes. So this right here is she just feels good. Um, have you ever noticed that in certain wave patterns, they start to feel crunchy? Well, I've worn her, I think, for five or six hours at a time over the past few months and she is not crunchy at all so she's doing really really well if that is something that you're interested in but yes this is maya by envy just beautiful mm. okay so 
The next one I have to show is Krista by Envy. Now she is hecka long. And she's 30% human hair. Mm -hmm. I had to put her on her own wig stand over here. I had to get one that was really tall because she's really long. And look at all these gorgeous curls. Now, Krista is heat friendly. She's part of the Envy Hair Collection, which is 30% human, 70% uh, synthetic, heat friendly. And she is just, just, oh, she is awesome. And she is on the heavy side. She weighs 7.32 ounces. And you can tell. Absolutely. Um, just very, very beautiful. Look at that. Uh, so let's take a look at the inside. Now this is also one of the most comfortable caps I have ever worn. Um, it has the silicone strip that goes across and a silicone and it goes all the way to the ear tab. It is just so comfy in this beautiful mono top and lace front. Super duper comfy. Oh, so great. Okay, silicone ear tab, and then you have the Velcro adjusters on the back on a very substantial name. And she's open and wefted around the back and sides. She's awesome. This particular color is called Chocolate Cherry. Ah! Here we go. Now, even with this uber comfortable cap, I would not be able to wear it for an extended time. I'd be able to wear it for like, oh! Here we go few hours, about five or six. And, oh, look at that. Look at all these gorgeous curls. Mm. Then she, oh, man. She is just awesome. How beautiful is Krista? Oh. Let's take a look from the back and look at the movement. Now, you can go ahead and I would just, to get this, I, I don't want to mess up these curls, but to calm them down, because I do know that there are certain people that do like the, um, a softer curl pattern, just heat up your hands a little bit and then just rake them through and it'll calm that down. Um, I don't see the need for using a whole lot because it's very responsive to heat. This particular, because I, I used them a little bit of heat right here on the front. Just like so. And she responded beautifully, and it did not take a lot at all. At all at all. But, again, you could just pull it straight, hit it with um, you know, uh, some soft heat, and it could calm these curls down if that is something that you're wanting tons yes a ton of styling options with this little lady and wearing her up down i mean she would just be phenomenal as far as updos half up half down you could wear her up in a high pony easy because you have all this hair and she is just phenomenal and this lace front you want to take a look? And this is the color Chocolate Cherry by Envy's color team. They always have the most luscious reds. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is Krista by Envy. So much fun. I looked her up on the Wig Genie. That was awesome. I was expecting Wig Genie to say, hecka awesome hair. It didn't. It came up with the, the description. <laughs> I just wanted her to say that. 
That would have been great. Ugh, all right. So the front of Krista, she's anywhere from 6.5 to 8.5. Um, and because she has all these amazing layers, um, from the crown it's 12 to 16. The, um, the sides can be from 12 to 17. The nape is 19. And again, she does weigh 7.32 ounces. So she does have some heft. And I've worn her a couple of times now. And it's, well, it was, yeah, it was just out and about at night. Good. Take me. I got to put her back on her stand here. And her stand didn't fit anywhere on any of this. So the last one that I have to show is Joy by Envy. And I have Joy in dark red. Oh, let me just hit her with a comb a little bit. Now she's a very straight but edgy piece because she's got these gorgeous jagged layers. Take a look at that. How pretty is that? And this color, dark red, oh, so great. Mm. So great. And she has a left mono with a ear tab to ear tab or extended lace front. And her cap is so soft. I mean, like it's really soft. Velvety ear tabs, bra strap adjusters, and a velvety nape. Now she has bangs. I believe the term that Envy likes to use is a flirty fringe. We're gonna work with that because I like it. Mm. Let me calm this down just a tad. Just, just a second. And I had to trim the bangs up a little bit because when she came out of the box, she was up to here. Shrink that down to here. And they were killing me. Oh, thank you. Honestly, the dress, Walmart special, baby. <laughs> oh. All right. So this is Joy by Envy, and she is a full synthetic. Okay. And again, she has these really pretty face framing layers and this really cute fringe. And the only way, the way that I, um, I just snipped up vertically to just calm those down a little bit. But it did not change the overall style of this piece. But she is just so pretty. And she's just very soft, feminine. And again, she has the, um, the jagged, jaggedy edges here and a very soft wave pattern. Just very soft. I don't normally trim bangs because I'm normally horrible at it, but I really wanted to wear this particular piece. And um, yeah, so I'm, it's not super bad. <laughs> Definitely feel it could be better. <laughs> However, I really do like Joy. So Joy's uh, measurements from the front so from the crown in the um, from the front, 5.5 inches, that's pretty significant. So you could have um, the blah, 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 blah. so you could have them side swept. Um, I did not want them at the time, but they were coming down to here, okay? And it was just all like this. Now I can still side sweep these. 
but because she is a full synthetic, I don't want to play with them too much. And she has, again, the lace front, the mono part, and she is just very comfortable. She is not heavy at all. She's 4.69 ounces. And the, like I said, the front, 5.5 when she comes out of the box. Uh, from the crown, she's 10.25. From the sides, 11.25. And from the nape, it's 12.25. Uh, and again, she can be worn up, down. She could be worn half up, half down. She could be worn in braids um, or a braid. Um, this, I have braided this one up um, a couple of times and I've worn her to work. Yes, she's been to work. Pretty great. And I am really, really digging it. I think I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Hmm. Yes, I'm on my way back to work tomorrow. I'm super excited. But I do love the reds and especially the Envy reds. They are all absolutely beautiful, rich, gorgeous colors. They are just beautiful, beautiful. So I hope to get, um, I need to eat. That's what this is. Yes, I'm getting tongue tied and I need to eat food. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great night. Go check out myhairmail.com. Don't forget to register and sign up for those members only discounts. They're absolutely worth it, I promise you. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you like and subscribe and I will catch you guys later with part three next Sunday. We have a few more to go and they are all phenomenal. So I hope you guys have a great day. Go love the hair that you choose to live in and I'll catch you next time. Bye.